masterpieces in our world, in old master world, are hard to find, particularly ones that have been off the market for a very long time. Yet here is a case where there was a, a picture in Switzerland being sold in America, and so it's completely free to move, and that's wonderful. And yes, it's hard to find them, very, very hard. This is an extremely important work by Titian, which is coming up in our January 27th auction. It is a very large-scale, impressive work by the master, probably painted around 1560, which is getting on in his life, a time when he's much freer with his brushwork than ever before. It's also unusual to know so much about the history of a picture, and, and this painting, we pretty much know where it was since it was painted. It was on a ship bound for Britain, but was commandeered by the French, took it into port at Malaga, where the contents were sold off. So this picture was then bought by an agent acting for Lucien Bonaparte, Napoleon's brother, and it then goes into Lucien Bonaparte's collection, where it remains for the next 20 years or so. The picture then stays in two major collections in Britain before it's sold in the 1950s and bought by the current owners. So Alex, do you remember when we first saw this picture? We saw it together, didn't we, on a bright day in a, in a warehouse in Switzerland uh, where we were able to look at it off the wall, which I'd never seen before, um, with fantastic clear daylight. And it was an absolute revelation because the picture at that stage, if you remember, was very dirty, uh, obscured by lots of old discolored varnish and dirt. Uh, and yet to see it in bright light, you suddenly saw all these colors coming out that I hadn't been aware of before. Although even then, I think we both felt that the picture itself was was still perhaps not showing as much as it could do, which is why, if you remember, we then started the discussion about whether we should go to the lengths, which we don't normally do, of perhaps removing some of that surface dirt by having the picture surface cleaned. We agreed to enlist the help of Sarah Walden, one of Britain's leading restorers, to, to carry out a campaign of very subtle cleaning, and that's the result of which we're seeing today, and I think we're all absolutely thrilled that we we took that step because the results are absolutely amazing. When I first saw the painting, uh, it was extremely dim. All the darks had become lighter and the lights had become darker, so that there was a, a very even, dull surface across the entire picture. And you couldn't look into the depths. And of course, there was a lot of old varnish. The big problem one has with old masters is that they were cleaned in the 19th century, and in those days they didn't know where to stop. And so they would take off original paint along with the varnish and everything else. Now obviously restoration is far more sophisticated and that doesn't happen anymore. It was obviously not radically cleaned in the 20th century either, which is a tremendous good fortune. This painting had accreted many layers of old varnish over centuries and that in a way was to its benefit because it meant that it hadn't had innumerable restorations which is what so often happens. And so it, it seemed that as if the important thing would be to remove the, the upper layers of the old varnishes. And so you go very gradually and see how the whole balance of the picture can be retained. The flatness and the, and the lack of resonance, the lack of luminosity was tragic really given this wonderful underlying painting. I was in, enormously thrilled um, in, in some areas to discover all sorts of things which were completely um, covered. For example, the far side of the Madonna's cheek um, was so dirty you couldn't see it. It looked as if she was in profile, whereas actually the really fascinating thing is that she's not, but she's just, you can just see, and equally with the, the face of the child. Those sort of things get lost. Prior to the cleaning, when you looked at this landscape background, for example, you could hardly see it. It was very yellow and murky and the kind of freedom of paint that you see, which is exactly what you want out of Titian. Also over here, that incredible, you know, brushwork. I mean, the colors, though, here have become much stronger, haven't they? Yes. And this fragmented, broken up paintwork, which is, you know, so characteristic of Titian's late style, that people love and admire in him, is much more evident now than it really was before. This picture uh, says so much about what we admire in, in, in Western art, but it also says so much about the time in which it was created and the, and, and the people that subsequently owned it. Titian is, in my eyes, the greatest painter in Western art, and it's absolutely spine-tingling to see a picture like this uh, in a private collection, then to have the privilege of being able to handle its sale.